Pete Wilson was elected mayor of San Diego in 1971. Wilson's plan for managing growth encouraged density in the city's urban core. He established San Diego's redevelopment agencies. And under Mayor Wilson's leadership, the city used public bonds and private investments to revitalize downtown, including the Gas Lamp Quarter, Building Horton Plaza, and the San Diego Trolley. Wilson was involved early on in pension reform, and while mayor, city employees withdrew from Social Security in exchange for lifetime health benefits. Wilson resigned as San Diego's mayor in 1982 after being elected to the U.S. Senate. He later served two terms as California's governor. Governor Pete Wilson. Managing growth continued to be a political priority when Roger Hedgecock was elected to serve out Wilson's term in 1983. I'm just plain stubborn. Hedgecock is credited for his role in getting the voter-supported downtown convention center built. As mayor, he continued projects begun by Wilson, including extending the San Diego trolley. Hedgecock suspended new construction permits north of downtown in an effort to make developers cover the cost of roads, parks, and fire stations. By 1985, San Diego's older neighborhoods needed $1 billion in infrastructure repairs. Hedgecock was elected to a second term, but he was forced from office in 1985 after he was found guilty of conspiracy and perjury relating to campaign contributions. The state Supreme Court overturned his felony convictions, except for one misdemeanor. The mayor today is on trial for conspiracy and perjury charges. Hedgecock may be best known for his nearly 30-year career as a conservative talk radio host. Follow me to 760 KFMB. When former San Diego police chief Jerry Sanders was elected mayor in 2005, San Diego's pension fund liability was nearly $1.5 billion and growing. With his sights set on balancing the budget, the city's first strong mayor led the effort to cut future pension debt with voter-approved Proposition B. That will save taxpayers hundreds of millions of dollars. Following a lawsuit over sewage spills, the city covered the cost of repairs by raising water and sewer rates. And the city began borrowing hundreds of millions in bonds to pay for long overdue storm drain and street repairs. Under Sanders' leadership, the city used redevelopment funds, grants, and private investments to break ground on San Diego's new central library. In April, Sanders became president of the San Diego Regional Chamber of Commerce.